Louisiana Beer Reviews, New Glarus Brewing Company Spotted Cow from Wisconsin, New Glarus. Uh, this company was founded in 1993 by Deborah Carey and her husband Daniel is the brewmaster. Um, they don't give the alcohol by volume or the IBUs on their website, unfortunately. Uh, <clears throat> One's, you know, rape beers or beer advocates saying 4.8. The other one saying 5.1, we don't really know. They say it's bottle conditioned. It gets a good rating on Beer Advocate. The bros say it's good, so around a B. Rate Beer saying 46 out of 100, but 83 out of 100 for the style. So a lot of people that do reviews on Beer Advocate and Rate Beer don't like cream ales. Uh, now they're saying... Um, brewed with flake barley and the finest Wisconsin malts and they give a little corn also they put corn in it which which is typical for cream ales because you got Genesee cream ale which they did sell in New Orleans for a little while I didn't see it the last time I went to that store and they had that for 465 a six pack they never sold the little Kings cream ales around here but um I don't even know if they make this anymore up there from Cincinnati. But this one is Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania, but usually it, it's a Cincinnati beer. Um, didn't care much for this one. That had a kind of a harsh metallic flavor. <laughs> I'd give it a second chance. But um, I remember the old bottles were different than this when I first bought this stuff back in, like in 1996. But anyway, and then you have Valentine, Valentine Ale. But it's not really a cream ale. It's more like a blonde ale. You'll see this up around New York City, those areas. All right, <clears throat> this beer was sent to me by David Benke, and it's only sold in Wisconsin. So, if you live in Wisconsin, I guess you can get it, or if you live close to Wisconsin, you can drive over there and buy it. All right, but I remember a little smoke. I remember Ziegenbach. They said, uh, "Brewed in Texas, only sold in Texas." On these had the Ziegenbach website, and then um, I saw it in I saw it in Louisiana, and I contacted the company, and they said, "Well, and in Louisiana too." <laughs> All right, I did a review also of the Kingfisher Cream Ale from Louisiana. It's ten ninety nine a six pack, so it's very expensive, very good, but expensive, and I wouldn't say worth it uh, compared to this because you could get this much cheaper, and it's very good too. Okay, thick white head, sort of hazy, golden appearance, a lot of bubble streams in this etched tasting glass. Um, yeah, looks like these other ones. The aroma, maybe. <clears throat> Now they're saying on New Glarus's website that it's a farmhouse ale. Okay, so they're not claiming it's a cream ale. I'm saying cream ale because that's what Ray Beer and Beer Advocate was saying. But these guys are saying farmhouse ale. Okay. A Wisconsin farmhouse ale. It smells kind of like um, Valentine, Valentine, really. I haven't bought that in a few years. Of course, when I was in New York two years ago, I didn't stop looking. I wasn't really beer shopping. So. I did some Asian beer shopping in Flushing, Queens, New York City, and didn't do my typical Bronx checking out. You know, checking out those Bronx places. You know, on East Tremont Avenue in West Farms, um, and down Boston Road. Um, you could taste the corn. Barley. Very light, light hops, like the Valentine. Um, it's got a little bite to it. A slight little, slight, slight little cloyingness. No, it's very slight, like the Valentine. Um, The mouth feels medium, a little
little slick and the finish is crisp, refreshing, and highly drinkable. Yeah, it's a whole lot like this this beer. Um, I don't know what the price is for this. This one, you know, I think I bought it for like, the six pack was like um, $4.99. Might have been $5.99, but I don't think it was. And I bought the, um, I should have kept it. I had the bomber bottle, the green one, which uh, was like two two dollars or maybe it was a dollar dollar ninety nine. I bought it on that corner store, the corner of uh, Boston Road and East Tremont, across the street from the Howard Johnsons. The store fronts East Tremont, and they had those Ballantine bombers. Uh, um, yeah, a little spiciness is coming out in the nose. Well, I think it's really good. Um, but then, of course, no, this one I said was a C, I think, if I remember right. wasn't too terrific. I think I bought, the last time I saw this was in Texas. Um, at H.E. Butts. Yeah, but these are, I would say it's like a tie. You know, like, take your pick. So, um, this is not, this, this has more of the, uh, the cream cheese cake icing. These are more similar, but they're all really good. So maybe the Genesee cream ale gets a little, like you get a little sick of it after a while because of that, like I said, that cake icing thing. But um, they're saying B on Beer Advocate. There's even a little smokiness to it. And they're using all natural ingredients. got a lager like finish yeah I'm gonna have to give it an A minus I think it is excellent it's at the lower end of excellent but that's still a really good score so if you ever see it I would highly recommend it I think it would go so well with spicy food foods maybe some hot dogs with a few little jalapenos on it some chili definitely mustard maybe even Creole mustard all right so les Ailey bon ton relay an excellent beer, and I'm going to end this review by saying y'all come on down to Baton Rouge and go to a Louisiana State University Tigers baseball game.